Donald Trump has become a Christian, by the way. Bonafide. I have, I have, I have confirmation on that. He's the only president in America, in American history, that we know about in this century and the last century, more than a hundred years, and probably before that, that had a worship service in the Rose Garden at the White House. They had Stephen Curtis Chapman, the one who's famous for singing How Great Thou Art, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, and songs like that. He's a contemporary Christian singer in America, uh, an American guy. And he was playing the, the thing, and they were singing, and the White, House, the White House staff was outside with their hands lifted in the air. I have never seen it in America. I have never. It didn't happen with Obama, definitely not. It didn't happen with Clinton, definitely not. It didn't happen with Bush, the Bushes. Hello? Any president. Back to Kennedy or Reagan or anybody. Nobody did that. They were standing there worshiping, and the presence of God fell in the place. That tells you something about the president. And I want to tell you, I believe in Jesus' name. In three weeks from now, he will retake the election and go back to the White House in the name of Jesus. I feel the anointing. I'm not making a prophetic announcement because, you, you know, these people, uh, they're wicked. You don't know what they have planned for the last thing. But it looks like the tide has fully turned and it's going more and more and more in his favor he should win and go back, and he's going to get to work from the first day to turn all this demonic stuff around that these other people have done the last few years and deal with the wars in the world and deal with, deal with the economy and deal with re rebuilding the nation and the illegal alien problem. All of that. He's going to fix, he's going to work on all of that. He's the right man for the job.